Hey there folks, John here, and uh, you know, I'm in the middle of moving right now, but I got a really exciting delivery in the mail today, my uh, collector's edition of Wonder Boy, The Dragon's Trap. Haven't opened it yet, so I uh, figured I'd go ahead and do that live and let you guys see what it's like, so here we go. Okay, so like I said, uh, this thing sold out in like 20 seconds or something like that. It was one of the, maybe like the quickest selling thing that Limited Run Games had ever sold um, prior to the week after that when they sold Night Trap and apparently that sold faster. But basically this is a PS4 release of uh, Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap um, and this is the collector's edition. So it comes with some extra stuff. Um, and I just happened to be sitting at my computer when it went live and was able to log on and get it. Now, I was actually able to go on, buy the copy of the game, and then go back and get a screenshot of the, uh, the selling page. Somehow, um, there was still 24% stock left remaining when I went back after checking out to get that thing. I posted that picture to Twitter and that caused, um, just a bunch of, uh, I got a bunch of responses on that because there were, everybody was like, man, you are really brave taking a screenshot of that before you actually went to purchase it. And the truth is, I didn't actually take the screenshot before. I just happened to, I guess, click exactly when um, they, they pushed it live and uh, got lucky enough to get it quickly enough to go back and get a screenshot. So no, I'm not that dumb, um, especially for something this, this sought after, I would not do that. But that said, that's the story of how I got it. Um, so let's get on to the unboxing. So they, they came in a pretty, pretty big package for just a PS4 game. Um, I imagine this is packed fa fairly well, so I have already slit the edge um, just because I figured that would make it easier for the unboxing. And of course, there's more there's more wrap in here, but here we go. So this is um, what it looks like in the bubble wrap, and I've got some scissors right here. I came prepared. So the trick is cutting the bubble wrap without cutting the game or any of the stuff inside, right? So this is actually my first limited run game. I've never actually gotten one before this. Uh, I've been tempted a couple times, but uh, when Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap came out, I got it on recommendation from, um, I think I watched Metal Jesus' channel or something and it looked really cool. And uh, basically, that was my first exposure to the game. I'd never played the original, uh, never played any Wonder Boy games ever, although I absolutely love the Adventure Island series, which is kind of loosely, it's a, it's a loose, loose cousin to the series. Um, but it's a really, really great game. So if you haven't checked out Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap, definitely do it. But, go ahead and open this up. And, um, so first off, we've got a few things before we even open the shrink wrap on the game. I'll set that aside for just a second. Comes with, uh, the little, um, limited run games loyalty ticket. I guess they, uh, they package these with all their games. So there's a little loyalty program. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then it comes with two, uh, Wonder Boy cards that both say limited run on the back but uh yeah so these cards uh, are basically the cover from the game they're kind of cool um they got a little foil uh edge or the um, whatever it is foil uh lines around the edge i'll do a close-up of these just so you guys can see really what's going on but now let's go ahead and open up the box so i was expecting this box to be a little bit thicker i'm gonna be honest um it's not that thick uh but, I mean, it's, it's cool looking. So we've got the, the front artwork there, and we got the back, back artwork. Um, and it's pretty awesome. It's it's kind of reminiscent of that old Master System vibe you would get with Master System games. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, open the shrink wrap. I know some people uh, would consider this to be a shelf item. I'm not a shelf gamer. I, if, I'm, if I buy something, I intend on playing it and displaying it in its full glory. So use my mistake then uh, to your benefit and you can decide whether or not yours is worth opening if you do indeed have uh, this game, if you got lucky enough to get it. So there were only, I think, 3,000 copies of this available, which is why they sold out so quickly. So shrink wrap off and now there we go. There's the, the box. Not quite as glossy without the shrink wrap, but still really, really, really cool looking. Um, so yeah, so let's open it up and see. Now the trick is opening this without getting that little that little crease in there that sometimes you get when you're opening 
boxes. So I'm gonna get, I've got a little electronics repair, tool, yeah, electronics repair toolkit right here with a really, really, really thin spudger in it. So this guy right here. So I'm gonna be able to slip this down in here and hopefully be able to pop that flap out past the tab so that I don't bend it when I open it. There we go. Boom. So, just in case you're ever the, you're the type that doesn't like to get that little bend right there, so right there is what I'm talking about. And, get, and anybody who's opened a new box will know. Um, basically, it's the flaps that keep the box kind of sealed shut. Uh, they get tucked behind here, and then you open it, and it ends up causing a bend right here on this on the edge of the um, of the flap. And if you ever don't want to do that, basically just go in real carefully with something real thin, and butter knife will even do you. Um, and just very carefully pull this part of the flap out um, as you pull up, and you should be able to get it out of there. So now we've got it open. Let's have the battle right. Try not to crease this as much as possible. Now, I, like I said, I am a player, so I'm not going to worry about it if this thing is not 100% mint because I never plan on selling it. But, so here we go. Cool. So there we go. Empty box. And like I said, that box is actually a little bit thin. I don't know if you guys can see that. But um, I was expecting it to be a little bit thicker cardboard. But it still looks cool. And it's not really going to get used that much. Um, so we got a couple things here. We got the... Wonder Boy official soundtrack, which I actually bought the second this was available on, um, uh, whatever it was, Bandcamp, I think is where it is. Um, I bought this the second it was available, and it is awesome. Let me tell you, if you haven't, haven't listened to this thing, there's a ton of alternate tracks on this thing that are almost maybe even just as good as the music that's actually in the game. Um, and so here's the, the cover art. you guys can hear the uh, cellophane ripping there you go cellophane's off so here you go here's the inside because this is a full review there we go so oh this is actually a two disc two disc set so there's the uh, there's disc one right there again I'll do close-ups of these so you guys can see them We've got a nice thing um, oh, that's really cool. Okay, so this this is the um, this must be the the alternate soundtrack disc. It's called the good, the bad, and the unused. Let me tell you right now, most of them are good. There are a few bads on there, um, but that's really 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 cool. And uh, so you've actually got a um, it doesn't look like this is a booklet. No, the uh, the insert in there is just a two sided insert with cover art and then uh, a track list. So something to something to consider. Uh, there is no actually book in there. So there you go. So that's the the CD. Now, if you're interested in that music, um, or you're a fan of the music already, if you if you've already listened to it, uh, I actually did a uh, gameplay video. It's not a let's play because there's no commentary, but a gameplay video that's a full playthrough of the game, where I edited in all of the the unused music rather than the music that actually came with the game. Um, really proud of that video. All the music cues are pretty much uh, intact from the game, uh, with the timing and everything. So it's really just like you're watching the game. Uh, being played, but just with alternate music tracks, and I I, it's, I professionally mixed it so that it's um, all the audio levels are right and everything. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll put a link in uh, the video right now. I'll put a card here, and then I'll go ahead and put a uh, a link at the end as well. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely worth checking out. Um, super proud of that video. But anyway, so there you go. There's the soundtrack. And then let's move on down, and we've got the game itself right here. So there we go. And this is the same, uh, from what I understand, this is the same limited run game copy that everybody got. Woo! Something just dropped. Um, that everybody got uh, if you just ordered the $30 version or whatever it was. I think it was $30 um, from limited run games. So let me use my spudger and go and open this real quick. I'll show you guys whatever's inside here. Which, from what I understand, is not much other than the game. But who knows? I could be wrong. Again, this is a normal PS4 game. Now, um, this is actually kind of nice. I have this game for the Switch. I did not have it for the PS4, so it's nice that the Collector's Edition got me a copy that I didn't have. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Okay, so you've got the disc here, obviously, but you've got this awesome retro-style 
instruction manual. And I am a sucker for manuals. Anybody that watches this channel knows that. Um, and I'm flipping through it here. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. It's, and it's actually in that kind of blue monochrome uh, color from, um, you know, normal uh, Master System games. Kind of like that. And I'll, I'll put in a couple close-ups of this one, too, just so you guys can see. Um, and this is dang cool. I'm going to be reading through this later. Uh, and then, the other thing is, so here's the uh, here's the, the, the modern cover art, right? Which is actually pretty sweet. Again, I'll put a, I'll put a, a good close-up of that in there. And then, there's this guy, which is the classic cover art. It is a reversible cover. So this is the old cover art, which is really sweet. Um, and it's got that same kind of vibe that, you know, an old, uh, the old one would have. Um, and then that's the same art that's on the, uh, the instruction booklet there. So, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I would have been very happy with, with, uh, paying $30 just for this alone, to be honest. Uh, because it, it's really got a, got a cool amount of stuff that went with it. But, um, we've got a couple of other things. The extras that, that came with the, um, thing. Came with the collector's edition. So first, I'll show you guys the poster that came with it, which is basically just a poster of the um, the cover art that Lizard Cube um, developed for the re-release. But it's pretty sweet. So there you go. Um, I wish that I had a wider camera angle so, so I could show you the whole thing at once. But I'll kind of go up and down here so you guys can see. There you go. So there's a Wonder Boy poster. Um, might end up putting this up, might not, uh, just depends on whether I have the wall space or not, but this is really cool. Very high quality poster too. The colors on this thing are great. So, um, there you go, poster. And then this is the thing that I was most curious about, just because I didn't have any idea what, what I was getting myself into. But we have the Wonder Boy cards. Um, and again, I'll do, I'll do a close up of these just so you guys can see more. Yeah, so you got a Wonder Boy card here. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Okay, I see what's going on here. So they're like trading cards. So um, we got a Mecha Dragon one right here. And again, I'll, I'll do close-ups of all of these. Um, they all have this Wonder Boy logo right here on them, uh, which again is the cover of the game. It's basically some of the art that you that you see from the awesome gallery in the game. And like I said, I will. Um, there's ten of these, and I'll go ahead and throw in close-ups of all of them as I talk. I'll find something interesting to do with these. Not sure what it's going to be yet. Um, probably gonna stick these two uh, little limited run cards in with it because um, they're actually the same size and look like they were printed on the same uh, paper. But um, so that's it. That's everything that came with it. So this is the uh, the Wonder Boy: The Dragon's Trap. Um, so what's my final verdict? Uh, I paid sixty five dollars for it, seventy I think, including shipping. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I think I think it's actually a really good deal. Uh, like I said, the only thing I think I would change is I wish the box was a thicker cardboard. This feels kind of flimsy. Um, and you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the mass-produced um, Uncharted sleeve that my PS4 came in. Because uh, I got a, an Uncharted bundle. Um, and that's kind of what this feels like to me. So that feels a little cheap. But again, on a shelf, I don't know that it's really going to matter. Um, because this is meant to be a display piece more than anything else. And it's not really meant to be something that's going to protect the game. So, um, as a display piece, this is going to be really cool. And I'm going to be really excited to have this on my shelf. So this is the Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap uh, Collector's Edition. Am I happy I got it? Yeah, I am. Um, and I'm happy that I was I was uh, sitting there at the computer at the right time. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So, I, uh, like I said, I'm really happy with this. So, uh, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Um... You know, you got something out of it. If you were able to get your hands on one of these, go ahead and throw a comment down there and let me know. Um, tell me what you thought. But if you didn't get, a, get get your hands on this, you know, um, tell me what you think of the video. And, uh, you know, hopefully this was a, able to give you guys an idea of kind of what went with it and whether or not it would have been worth your money to buy it anyway. Um, so, like I said, uh, I'm in the middle of moving, so there will be there will be some other videos coming. Most of them are going to be Let's Plays, though, that I've already got queued up uh, for the next few weeks or so. And then I'll be back to normal uh, doing restoration videos and um, how-tos and that sort of thing. Uh, you know, and other games, game videos as well. i got some other series coming up uh, pretty soon. I have a 360 uh, game store review video coming up, which is going to be pretty sweet. So, we got some fun stuff coming up, but... Bear with me for the next couple weeks as I move, and uh, videos may be a little bit sparse, a little bit here and there. But I will still be watching the comments, so 
uh, you know, do all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, you guys know all that stuff, um, and it's always appreciated, uh, so that's about all I got. So um, let me know what you think in the comments, and I guess I will see you guys next time.